This has got to be bad for morale because uh, Kherson is the only significant city the Russians took in February, and uh, the Kremlin can dress this up in whatever way they want. The soldiers themselves know that they were occupying a city. They weren't popular in the city. There was a lot of civilian attacks on them, which became quite uh, vicious and quite difficult. And now they're withdrawing. Um, and so the, the Russian military is already, if you look at telegram channels in the first 48 hours after this announcement was made, they're alive with uh, Russian military feeling disgruntled by this setback, which is the biggest setback of the war from their point of view. I think the Russians will want this to be a, a, a properly organized withdrawal because they're pulling out not just of Kherson city, but of the Kherson oblast. And that's everywhere south from Snehrivka to Milove. And they've got to actually pull across the, the river uh, at Novokokovka and at Kherson itself. And the rivers of, you know, the Dnieper River is very wide and, and very treacherous. So they've got a lot of troops, maybe 40,000 troops to, to get out. So they'll certainly, it won't be a rout. They'll want it to be a withdrawal in good order. And they've already laid a lot of the foundations for that. And it has already been occurring. But they'll be very lucky if they get all 40,000 troops onto the east bank of the Dnieper River without taking some losses, because the Ukrainians for sure um, have the means to attack them as they withdraw. And withdrawal in contact, as the military call it, is the most difficult and dangerous military manoeuvre in the book. It's possible that this is all part of a ruse to bring the Ukrainians into a, a, a killing zone, but I don't think it will work because the Ukrainians are already thinking about that and they're not so foolish as to go rushing in. I think what the Ukrainians will do, they'll probe fairly gently uh, or carefully towards Kherson city. And, and the big issue is not really what happens in the city. I think the Ukrainians will stay out of the city for a while. The big issue is what happens further north towards Novokokovka. And I'm keeping my eye on uh, Berislav. Uh, and if Berislav falls, which it may, then Novokokovka is very vulnerable. And if Novokokovka falls, then the Ukrainians have got the opportunity maybe of beginning to encircle Kherson, even crossing to the other eastern bank of the river if, if they've got the forces to do that. So I think the, this battle will turn, not so much on what happens in Kherson over the next week, but what happens over in Novokokovka in the next two weeks.